Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigil here, welcome back to our video. So for the first fight we're gonna have Raiden here with Scorpion and with Flash. And since this is a fight where the boss doesn't have that much health so we don't need to play it perfectly, I can actually afford to do a few specials so we can see the difference between the uh, using or not using the class passive of Raiden because I'm of the opinion that this is a waste of time and just doing those specials will eat too much time out of the fight and it's not worth it and yeah it's not that high level but it's not gonna get much better because I'm gonna steal with 10 special 30% of the attack where I would steal like 50 if I get this to level 5 and I'm not wasting those resources so let's see how the damage numbers compare to what we managed to do yesterday. We have the absolute same artifacts on the characters. And let me show you a bit of the yesterday fight. Okay, so the only thing relevant here is the dot values that Raiden is getting on basic hits. Let it power drain. Okay, so it looks like the peak performance is going to be 2 mil. That's the highest amount of damage we get with the super move down, with the scorpion doing everything he needs to do. So yeah, 2 mil is what we're looking at, and let's see how it goes after a few specials. Okay, let's get it going. Again, the exact same artifacts as I had yesterday on the characters. Absolutely no difference. We also have Flash too, so no additional damage from having a different character as a support. First up, let's do Super Move, I guess. I don't think it's too relevant if I do it before or after doing the specials. You bring shame to your planet. And like the big problem is that all of his specials are kind of slow animation. I mean the special one I guess works better than the special two. Not really counting them by the way. I'm just gonna do a lot of them. Oh my bad there. I mean look, it's not the easiest character in the game to combo and drop. As well power drain him a bit. Okay, I think that's enough. Again, we are looking at uh, 2 mil peak value. 2 mil damage is the best we could get on a single dot value. Okay, look guys, it's all the way up to 2.2 from 2 mil after wasting half of the fights doing specials. And look, if I had the passive at a higher level, we could steal it a bit faster, I guess and waste a bit less of the fight, but this damage increase is not even worth wasting 30 more seconds of my fights. That's the problem with the Raiden passive. If the specials were part of his gameplay and part of how he deals damage, yeah, it wouldn't be a great passive, but you're gonna do it anyway, which is the case for Sir Revenge with Poppet, for example. But why would I do this? Why would I waste so much time for such a small damage increase? And a lot of people in comments, I mean not a lot, but some people in comments are like, Yes, Sigval, but it's, it's not a great passive, but it helps. Yeah, it increases the dot value a little bit, but just think of how much damage you're losing by not playing the fight normally and just taking time to do specials in that time frame, like nah, bro. But yeah, let's move on. Okay, so here we have Beast Boy. Beast Boy. With Puppet, we got um, Manta with a Kryptonite Spear. We got Marsh Mantor with Beta Club for passive stats. And uh, yeah, this fight is, I wouldn't call it pay to win, but I would call it privilege to win. Because this guy is gonna give you literally game over. He gets the super move, it's game over. You straight up lose the entire fight. 
However, Beast Boy is going to be able to spam specials without being super moved. If you got a good enough device to not lag, because if you're lagging with Beast Boy, uh, what's what's going to happen is that he's, he's going to have a room to do super move. So it's kind of a weird situation here. This fight is going to become very easy for people who are not getting hit by super move when using Beast Boy, but... The people who are getting hit by super move, it, it, it's it's not gonna be any different. We got the full combo there. We're gonna get to keep it. Okay, oh, level 10 Poppet, level 9 uh, Kryptonite Spear, and level 10 Beta Club for passive. I think I even showed them actually. There we go, he's got super move. If he gets to do that, he's gonna kill me, but he's not gonna get to do that. But that might not be a reality if you're using Beast Boy yourself, so. Be mindful of that, but if you're not getting super move when using Beast Boy, this is an annoying fight that just became extremely easy. Uh, if you can't do this the way I uh, people used to fight this, I mean, I used to fight too. It's either, I mean, very back in the day when this released, when we didn't have even Raven, you, you would use King and you see super move to lock the super move of the enemy, and now you can use Raven uh, Joker EPI and try to keep him with Raven special one at low power. Not at low power, but away from super move, because this man's mechanic is actually somewhat interesting. The closer he gets to super move, the less defense he has, and if he has no power, he, you're, you're pretty much not going to deal damage to him because he's got so much defense. So yeah, good luck with that if you can't use Beast Boy like this. If I get the disc man on the secondary account, I might show you another way to fight him, but let's take a look at the rewards we got for this one. Okay, so here we have uh, a multiverse skeptic called Amulet of Agility. That's garbage. Let's move on. Here we have uh, Girl of Killed Supergirl with Beta Club, EPI with uh, Amidogu Dagger, and we're gonna have also classic uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, this boss is gonna disable a random special of yours. And I, I don't really care with this team setup too much about it. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what she did, but on release, when, whenever I was a Krypton release, this boss was, was not, not good to fight. Okay. Bro, stop! Stop, 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 stop. Um, bro, the EP, why is the EPI? I mean, we didn't stack Kamidoga Dagger properly yet, or Girl of Steel Supergirl, but so far the damage on uh, EPI is not great, and it's not gonna be great for a while because we're just struggling with power generation here. Oh, come on. Okay. I think Flash might have been a better choice, but we don't have him available. Instead of Girl of Steel here. Okay, that's enough damage. I'll take it. 390 out of 400 max is, is good enough. I'm pretty sure I can tank Super Move. No, no. This is the worst thing. Okay, let... Tag me out. Oh boy, this is this is bad. We're probably not gonna kill this. Okay, let's try to focus here. We're we're in full damage control now. Playing the fights right from the start. Ah, oh, bro. Doing your best to mitigate your mistakes that you did throw the fight. Yeah, let's let's try that. Uh, she's gonna see super move me, which is fine.
Now we're not killing this, and I honestly don't deserve to kill this because I played it so badly. But her hitting EPI with the special two is the worst thing that could have happened. Yeah, if I didn't get tagged out there, she would be dead. But it's my fault. My bad. Let's move on. Okay, so here we have uh, Batman the Drowned with God Killer. Green Lantern, Green Lantern with uh, the Kryptonite Spear and Robin King. I don't remember if this man has headers or not on the ground, but that's gonna be fine because we. Yeah, he does. But we got John there ourselves, and it's gonna deny the power drain at least from them and the gut here from batman on the drum will reduce the damage that they do because the damage of the hazards is based on the attack of the boss so if we reduce the attack of the boss we also reduce the hazard damage though it's still not 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 a laughable amount like that's gonna grind me down a bit until the end of the fight oh no 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 i i thought i had robin king on that tagging spot that's a bit of a mistake there Okay, block. Uh, okay. Let's do the percentage all damage. Really hoping we don't lose infinite. Okay, we didn't lose infinite power. That's great. Okay, super move. Tank that. I think it's blinded. And we just spend the special one. Oh, he doesn't have blind yet! I wanted to get a few hits in with Robin King to, like, uh, keep the crit damage up. Now he, now he has blind again. But it sounds so weird to say he has blind. He has, he has seeing difficulties, guys. He has, he has a disability now that we have inflicted upon him. He has a vision impairment. Okay, let's move on to the next fight. Over here, let's have some fun. We got my boy Nightwing with Beta Club. Class Ascended, obviously. We got Harley with the um, uh, Kryptonite Spear. And we got Puppet on Raven. So yeah, the damage against targets from Harley, uh, the damage against targets from Raven and from Puppet and the crit damage of Nightwing should get the job done here, I think. I mean, obviously it's a little bit of a waste of resources, but I don't really need them right now. Bro, 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 what's, what's, Ch Ch buddy, chill, calm down, buddy. What was that? Okay, let's see if we can not lose infinite power by the time the beta club expires. Okay, we managed to do that actually, which is nice. Okay, and we jump attack here. Oh boy, that, that's a lot more damage than I was expecting though. It, it, it makes sense, it makes sense. Okay, we got, we got a lot of things going on from a boy knight in here. 50 mil without him being stunned? Um, though it's not really without being stunned, because yet again, uh, it takes double benefit from him being stunned. Uh, like, uh, first of all, it increased my initial value that I did on the basic hits, and then it increased the beta club value. So even though he was no longer stunned, the beta club was still benefiting from the stun that happened when it got activated on basic hits. But yeah, that's that, that was a lot faster than I was expecting. Now right, so you have Grodd with uh, the Beta Club. Brainiac, Brainiac with Puppet and uh, Robin with the uh, Kryptonite Spear. This should be a fast one-shot. Like This this one-shot's relatively fast whenever we don't even have passive stuff from Beta Club. But now that we do, it's, it's, it's going to be a bit different. Okay, calm down, buddy. Brainiac, one special that should put me straight up into infinite power. This is 
Uh, blind? Can you can you get the blind going, buddy? I think you got it. Uh, yeah, we need to special one actually. My bad. I was thinking about other things, but it's okay. We one shot this by so much that it doesn't matter. Gonna soon have super move, which I I think I can tank with Brainiac. So I guess we're gonna find out. Okay. Yeah, no, no problem. Bro, that 32 was when he blocked the hit. And we're up to 80 mil now. Which is obviously a pretty damn nice value. Get Grodd back in. Okay, 80 mil. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!